Desert Storm. If this is anything like the scenario missions, these are gonna be this is gonna be a terrible campaign. It's either massive slaughter missions, which would be fine by me, or hmm. The size could be too much. That I suppose the main problem. Although seven hundred points with modern gear doesn't actually mean shit. So much curious what we can get. What is an HH the C tank? It's a battalion. So it's not specifically any kind of a type of unit. Type of a organizational group maybe? Four army barge carriers in the desert. Yeah, now we have improved house in the goddamn jeeps. They're still incredibly expensive. Twenty four. Okay. Just taking a quick look at our options. Patriot missiles. There's one extra missile in the launcher. One for your men. It's more or less the same. The, the missile is probably either more damaging or more accurate because the cost difference is significant still. Definitely not something you would buy in your core army. Yeah, APCs have turned into from a pretty much uh, machine gun. Well, this is basically a truck with a machine gun, more or less, uh, more armor. But now they've turned into actual fighting machines. Anti-tank missile twos, a machine uh, machine gun, and uh, auto cannon. It's fairly cheap too, with vision of forty. Fire control 15, which means nothing because you're gonna use the missile to kill tanks. So it's uh, in many ways just a che cheaper way of doing the actual fighting. What else? Infantry. Do we have. Yeah, we have air mobiles, so we can do the helicopter platoon thing. Not sure if this is. Uh, I would want that part of the core army. And automatic grenade launcher. Probably excellent again. This would basically be a upgraded version of a machine gun section. Massive amount of suppressing fire. Stinger teams. What's the missile? Anti tank missiles we can use. Has to be something. How Mark twos or Super Dragons? I'm not sure what's special about Super Dragons, but these guys have vision of 40, so they can see through smoke probably too. Ah, uh, nothing particularly interesting here. These are old, old weapons. Weapon tech. If there's something special about these, it would have to be in the ammunition front. Definitely no core army types. Armored cars. Don't really see the point of these. M55 551A1 Sheridan. So an upgraded version of this. Still the... It has a big gun. Uh, the only five high explosive rounds, so it probably has a lot of specialty ammunition. Ten anti tank missiles and a couple of machine guns. Good vision, these would see through smoke again. Ah, tank platoons, we have quite a few different types of Abrams now. We're not gonna touch patterns with a long stick. This Abrams is pretty bad. This was the one we had earlier in the previous campaign, German campaign, and it's the worst one. 
cheapest one too. M1A1 has no high explosive uh, around for the cannon. Larger caliber cannon, more armor. Uh, a little bit slower. Better fire control. And then we have an additional heavier, high, heavy armor version of that that has about 50% more front armor. Also expensive as shit. We could basically buy something like four of these and we'd be broke. Uh, old anti-armor platoons. The cheaper versions of everything is gone now. Self-propelled artillery. There is a paladin unit here that wasn't before. It basically has the vision upgrade. That's the difference. Maybe a... Uh, yep. Slightly more expensive. Maybe with a little bit of upgrade on the gun. But mainly upgrades on the electronics. These were pretty vital to our efforts in the German campaign. I don't see why I wouldn't take these now. We also want a lot of units that we can upgrade throughout the campaign. That means we're definitely going to take the anti-tank guided missile vehicles too. Is, do these have the same weapon as the Bradleys? These cost 27 apiece. They pretty much only serve for the purpose of having that uh, missile, HAL-2, and Vision of 40. This has a Vision of 40 and a HAL-2 missile. It's also 36, so it's slightly more expensive, but it's also vastly more useful. 24-3 movement, so this it could move on water. 18-2, so I don't think the Self-propelled anti-tank anti guided missile vehicles make a lot of sense anymore. Unless you're really desperate for a few extra points. Bradley does it all. We are gonna need some kind of a tank platoon, proper tank platoon. I don't think we can afford the good Abramses. We can still afford the basic versions. Ah, we might be able to upgrade them too, but we can't upgrade everything. We could go for cheap surface air missile vehicles. Stinger missiles, eight of them. And uh what the hell is this? Uges GG. I'm assuming it's a machine gun. The point of these would be that they're drastically cheaper than the Chaparral missiles. They probably will more or less do the same job, but that also means I can buy them as support units. No need to have them as part of the core army. Uh, we probably want some infantry, we always do. Engineers, please. Mostly use these for smoke though. They have a bunker buster, whatever that means. Submachine gun, a grenade launcher, flamethrower, and a bunker buster. These are not good uh, against infantry. Uh, I think I'll take another platoon of APCs. But we do, we do want a uh, tank platoon. What can we afford? Oh, fuck. We can afford a tank so old it's borderline worthless anyway. And it would be very expensive to upgrade. I don't know if I want 
that I'm not sure what's the I'm not sure what the purpose of that vehicle would be at that point. We also have to keep in mind that we do want to upgrade these. APCs might not be upgradable to gunships though, so it has to be armor. Uh, shit. Anti-armor platoon, would, in that sense, would make a lot of sense. These could be upgraded to other tanks or uh, gunships. But we're not gonna take actual armor at all, then. We're just gonna take a lot of missile platforms. Bradley's. Uh, I, I think this could come bite me in the ass. These would have the same missiles, except it's in it's in a jeep. Still, the cost would be not that much less. So I, I'm not sure what the point would be. But where the hell am I going to spend the 50 points in then? Not sure if it uh, gets transferred. I mean, can I keep it if I don't spend it? Uh, we have Bradley's, so we could go for more infantry too. As in actual rifle platoons. We could get some anti tank teams in the mix. It would be 51 points, we need 52. Yeah, I think that's a acceptable thing. Although, hmm, yep. Reason it's acceptable is I was thinking would they ha have an air force we have to face? I don't see how that could be possible. Iraqi forces have taken over Kuwait and pose a threat to the vital Saudi oil fields. In response, the US and other Western nations sent their armed forces to counter the Iraqi army. Yesterday, in Iraqi, an Iraqi mechanized battalion assaulted and took the coastal town of Kafji. This is a serious challenge to the coalition forces here in the Gulf. Your task force must eject the Iraqis out of Cop G while keeping your losses low. Yep, at least they're warning me about this. It's a river crossing. I did not expect river crossing missions, so I'll have to say that. Well, it's not really a river crossing, it has water in it. It is, uh, we probably start here, they have our position there, there's no cover, and uh, we need to take the city. Visibility doesn't, uh, this, the visibility doesn't mean a mid goddamn thing. 400 points. Wild weasel. Harm. Uh, those would be missiles. Cluster bombs and gatlings. Gatling gun bombs. A lot of bombs and missiles. Uh, these we know are not worth it. We can buy gunships, hopefully. Yes, we can. Apache. What the hell is this? This is an attack helicopter. HA-58D. It has a Hellfire missiles, four of them, a rock, rocket pods, one, and a 50 cal machine gun. It's a weird one. It doesn't cost too much. It's fast as hell. So we have Cobra Tau. This is the one we used in the German campaign. This has Hellfire missiles. Uh, better armor in, in general. Um, 30mm auto cannon, hellfire missiles, and rocket pods. The arm, the weapon layout is fairly similar to the Cobra. It's a slightly more expensive. Um, I'm definitely buying these. I certainly know how good they are. And I need something to scout around. I also need sacrificial units, which would be Hmm. Humvees. We can choose a couple of versions. They're 
this shit all around, no matter what we do. Maybe some strike elements. Ah, uh, let's go with the uh, infantry helicopter platoon. It worked fairly well. I was fairly pleased with how it worked out. Alternatively, um, I, I think I prefer more Apaches. It's easier to manage, and they're they're very useful. Still left with twenty points. Something that can cause smoke. I suppose I could always go with uh, infantry Sams. I mean, I don't expect them to have aircraft harassing me, but I don't know. Should be a fairly simple thing to deploy in, right? So we only care about the city. And with helicopters, you could potentially by at least bypass all the defenses, but I, I don't think that would work in reality. Visibility is decent, but not great. Length 15. These can provide smoke. How much smoke? 4, 12, 4. Decent amount anyway. We also want to keep our profile fairly small to the east side, so we can uh, we don't have to spend a massive amount of smoke to get anything done. Right, everything we have pretty much should be able to see through smoke. Uh, so what exactly do we have here? Range 30, so it's pretty much the same thing team as before, but I think it has a higher probability of penetrating armor. It has this two stage warhead and 10 extra range. Right. Sacrificial units. Um, actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea if the sacrificial units were clearly separate from the rest of the group. That way, the moral effects will be vastly reduced. More Apache. Stinger teams. We're not gonna move these, but it's just gonna exist here. Hopefully, we don't have to use them. <sighs> I'm expecting these type of missions to be very, very short as a uh, general rule. I'll try the Apaches first. They probably have some kind of reactor base. Titanus. No one saw that? Seriously? Shit. Could make things complicated. Sixteen. No one sees it. Fifty 
No one sees a goddamn thing. They're firing outside the visibility maximum. That's why we don't see them. It is literally impossible to see this far away, and they're doing it. Um, I've, I've suspected this for some time, but I think this is a confirmation of it. Uh, basically, the reaction fire to aircraft ignores the all set rules on the range. It just doesn't follow them at all. A lot of anti-air units. It does mean we don't really want to fly all the time with the aircraft. 49, yeah. Firing longer than there's visibility here. And even our high-tech units have the vision of 40 at maximum, so we can't see them. They can see me. That is bullshit. On the other hand, now we know. No mistaken about it at this point. Uh, I don't really think we can do all that much. They're definitely not gonna hit us. We are within striking distance of them. Right, so... They should have more defenses here, closer. Let's see shit. We'll have to do the decoy units first, see if there's any kind of reaction at some point. But there has to be. I just don't understand why there's no reaction. We are within range of their anti-tank units. Well, not exactly anti-tank though. That's an anti-air missile. That's an anti-air vehicle. We might still want to fire smoke there. We have the capability. Right. I I don't think we are going to need a lot of smoke here because of their sub. There's that little hill in front of us. There might be, even if they were stationed here, I don't think they could fire upon us all that much. Now yeah, we'll see. Right, there might be units here that could uh, do something. That's uh, much more reasonable here. Uh, we'll also have to assume that some of their units will start to be able to see through the smoke too. Not now, then soon.
Hey, like on on the first turn, there shouldn't be much action either way. We're not in a position to start firing on their units. We would have to get somewhere ar around the little hill there. Helicopters can harass them, but I'm not sure if they can achieve all that much. Maybe take out a few of their anti-air units, vehicles. I don't think they can do much with the infantry yet. Um. Didn't I have helicopters at one point? Or did I just not buy them? Uh, I bought more gunships. Another positive thing about the dragon teams, they're actually fairly mobile. Nothing should happen. So everything's going according to the plan. Still on the anti air fire. Mm, this guy will die if he does the bit that goes along the road. I'm guessing there's fairly a heavy contingency of units here and here. Okay. We could apply a little bit of smoke here. Not sure it would actually be of all that useful. Uh, yeah, because, well, these guys will definitely be spotted. Yep. But they would be the only ones. At the same time, I'm not sure why they are. Hell am I stingy with the smoke? Yeah, that more or less is enough to protect at least this guy. This, I'm not sure anything protects him. Not sure I care. I suppose I care a little. Try not to die, little dude. This is a problem. Yeah, I should have stayed in the cover of the hill. Okay. There's one big problem with what we're doing, is we have nothing that could really move a little bit, fire reliably and go back and cover. Bradley, generally speaking, don't seem to have smoke. Something to be aware of. We could see a couple of enemy units.
For the next turn, we'll use the helicopters to deal units. Use the units standing into what we are. Not sure we're gonna gain much if we pop up our heads up now. At the same time, I just sort of do think we need to do it to get rid of the belt propelled guns. I doubt they'll hit us. I'm, I'm moving mainly to get them to fire at me so the others can do that. Fire their missiles. Oh, come on. We could use some 30mm cannon to try to destroy it too. I'm somewhat curious how well it could have a chance of actually achieving it. We could try to suppress the little shits here. I have no idea how effective this is at these ranges. It seems okay. It just doesn't have a huge amount of shots, so it's questionable. Is this the way you should be using them? Also, we probably want to save the shots for the next turn. There's a good chance quite a few tanks are going to pop up. Alright, so these Apaches are just going to hold their position. Right. Everything goes according to plan. Nothing new really gets pop up. We can just neutralize the Strela team without having to sacrifice a helicopter to do it. That should uh, allow us to do more, most of what we wanted to do anyway. Can I use a sacrificial hop? No reaction. Uh, it's important because I sort of wanted to use a uh, paladin to try to just blow it away, the infantry guy, I mean. Not enough suppression. I'm, I'm surprised no one has even provided support fire for it. Because without a doubt, there are some units that are capable of doing that. Well, I guess it doesn't matter in a way. We don't particularly want to hoard kills with the Apaches. I mean, they're not part of the core group. Now there's three left. It's not that, so, uh. Trying to get another helicopter to peek up. 
little bit. That way, when the inevitable shot comes the next time, we might actually see where the location of the shooter. Trila team. Type sixty nine two. That's a that's a Chinese tank, I think. It would be a Soviet tank, basically. And it is not particularly impressive. Okay, any of our core army could actually see someone? Nope, 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 nope. Yes, excellent. Well, didn't destroy it, but got something done. I don't see these destroying uh, tanks uh, from any firing position. Uh, APCs, light vehicles, that sort of thing, uh, without a doubt. But no, not main battle tanks. They they would not have the firepower to penetrate the armor. They have no specialty ammunition either, so it's pretty much just armor piercing shells, which basically means it it won't do shit against a large tank. Need some kind of specialty ammunition. Right. A bad place. It seems like there really isn't all that much of a defensive force here. That's probably why they warn you about keeping your casualties low. Because there's no way in hell you can uh, get enough kills to counter any significant losses. Right, just struggling crew. Although the routed Strela team bears a little bit of a problem. I've got to get the idea that we could. Uh, Get it shit back together and fire a missile at our helicopter. Okay. We still need to lure more units out. This cannot be it. The question is, where are the rest? There's a uh, three lot team retreating. So I don't want to see what's here. Two tanks, BMP2s. Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, I don't think I can deal with the T-72G with what I have. Can't really provide decent smoke here either. So a helicopter basically would have to try to take, take it down. Clickety clickety click. Uh, 
I don't think this is gonna be much really a tough campaign for us. It'll be troublesome. Tough, not so much. Right, I don't, I'm not really in a position to start uh, causing too much fuss here. Might be able to... Yeah, they're retreating. Might be able to cause some fuss. Ooh, that's a tire. Get too close for comfort. I'll can fire on this 3 lot team at the least. Not that I'll hit it, but whatever. Alright, so we are now okay to move into a better firing position with the vehicles we have. Right, there's not really uh, any kind of a formation that would use as cover here. We could try to destroy the tank. Not sure I want to. At the same time, all the points gained from these missions are valuable, even if we don't get experience for the core arm. It, it can translate to unit upgrades, so we should not give up opportunities to take down enemy troops. Right, the big problem is I can't really create smoke here. So if I go out there in the open, we're gonna be out there in the open without with no protection. Ah, one paladin. Could you fire there? No, you could not. Yes, you could. Out of smoke? No. Well. That's actually very... that's good enough. Not a perfect spot, but it's still... Uh, we could try firing with our auto cannons, uh, but the missiles wouldn't miss if we would fire for marker and precision. The missiles are most of our firepower. Bit risky place to be here. Still a bit risky. Ah, can't be helped. Mostly things are going fine for us. 
Their defense force is just it's fundamentally too weak. It doesn't have artillery, it doesn't have aircraft. What we're seeing mostly on the unit front, as in uh, vehicles and other things they can throw our way, it's. Eh? Uh, yeah, we can see some kind of a lonely crew member. That's about it. Srila's team still in place. Not sure if they have really anything else. Routed Srilati. Ready Srilati. And it's suppressed now. Right. Uh, nothing happened. That's basically it. And we're dead. Not literally dead though. So I guess we're all more or less in a good spot really. Squads. Okay, there's a metric ton of infantry. There's nothing even remotely interesting here. Uh, as far as the helicopters are concerned, it sort of looks like uh, anything that could be a threat to them is pretty much all that it's able. So, Mr. Bradley, do you see something interesting? BMPs. Vehicle losses should mean that the infantry is pretty much uh, unable to do anything for this turn. So we could use this opportunity to push forward uh, fairly aggressively. Another helicopter needs to go through all this. at the ring. BMP at the ring. Headquarters. Uh, BRDM's Sagar. And the time for results. Another one. Okay. Good points.
losses of these units will guarantee that it is going to be a pretty substantial route they're going to experience at this point. Use the helicopter to take care of the BMP. Infantry is already suffering a little bit. Right. Mr. Longbow. No, these are not longbows. I'm thinking of longbows, but longbows is a, a weapon system that, a, that the Apache can carry. It is not the Apache itself. Retreating, 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 retreating. Yeah, they're pretty much done at this point. Anyone not retreating? Ooh, that's a pinch squad. Might as well encourage it to move a little bit. Well, the Paladin will likely survive here, and I can make sure it does. Mm. Not really seeing anything left for us to do except just rush toward the enemy positions and fire like a madman. It's not necessary and uh, it's not particularly smart, I'd say, it, but it's more of a... Uh, I, I don't want to sneak around if I have a good chance to bring this uh, type of mission to an end fairly quickly, so I'm not sure why I should try to keep it going. It does depend on the fact that they should not have any heavy armor that they can point in my direction. If they do, this is going to be a slaughter of my end. Still, everything's looking good so far. And they don't get the U200 casualties going against us. We can definitely wrap things up. A helicopter to escort us on the road. To make sure that we don't uh, drive into any ambushes. To encourage some of the troops that are pinned to move. Not sure if it'll make much of our real difference. But it might. Their Srila team also is actually not in that bad of a condition, so I don't know why I haven't fired more on that one with the helicopters we have around. Uh, it would be foolhardy to ignore it. So. Also, the missile teams are not going to go into the city itself, so you're just going to take a position here and fire if something comes up. If not, then you're going to do a goddamn thing. Ten targets, no vehicles. Right. Thirteen targets. Equally few vehicles.
cannot be seen by the Strela team. Or the Strela team has to go one or the other. Uh, even though that's it, there's a high probability that there are additional uh, teams somewhere. So it's gonna still be fairly reckless to just leave the helicopters in the open when there's no need for that. But I'm not really getting any real benefit from that. Not even doing things faster. Just. I, I don't know. Because I'm lazy? Actually, I can't move all of them into cover even if I wanted to. Yeah, it's this is over. They can They have nothing. So full speed ahead. Fire at what you can. Do you have a weapon? Uh, yeah, five damage. That makes things a little bit tougher. Oh no! Why the fuck did you fire up smoke there? We're gonna start using the helicopters to route these groups, then use the core vehicle group to try to finish them off and post back of it to the best part of the group. So Apache teams first. We are looking for non-retreating non-routed enemy units. They're still in great shape overall. They rallied fairly well. Just pinned. Ah, fair enough. There aren't that many intact infantry squads anymore. Well. 
Yeah, they're not necessarily retreating or routed. routed. They're in a condition where pushing through here is very easy. A single shot from almost any vehicle can uh, disrupt their team. So everyone full in. There should be no noticeable ambushes or anything. So we're just gonna mainly drive to the no no no. Yes, yes. Drive to the enemy, shoot what we can. Survivors disperse. <sighs> Probably take two turns still to clear all of them. Survivors disperse. I don't particularly care what we fire at, as long as we shoot at something. Not sure how the game calculates experience in this game. Could be every time you fire a weapon at something or successfully damage something, you get something. Yes, you're clearly getting it from something else besides just skills. Skills don't really explain the experience points differences between the various units. But if there's a few extra conditions that allows you to get experience, that do it. I don't really see any particular reason to save shots at this point. I don't think they're gonna be counterattacking now. They're gonna do it at some point, gonna, they're gonna do it when we control the vast majority of the flags. But now they're just gonna hold position and think they're more or less okay to just stand there and do nothing. Humvees. Humvees are her just units, so I'm not sure I want to bring them closer. Machine guns are harassing them anyway, and they could destroy them potentially. So I think we are gonna rely on the Bradleys and the helicopters. Yeah. There's not a goddamn thing happening anymore. So even by America versus Iraq standards, this was a fairly minor force they had uh, defending this. They really had no chance. Hmm. Need to recheck the situation with the helicopters. Any ambushes? There is uh, a BMP. 
uh, ready infantry squads. Uh, the BMP should be in a line of fire that we can see. Well, it sort of is, but uh, not exactly in the way I thought it would be. It's blocked by that smoke, very likely, as long as we just get someone there and fire at it, it's good as dead. Fly through to see if there's any this this top. We destroyed an anti-air missile. Didn't even realize it was there. There doesn't appear to be really any here anymore. Like a couple of pin units. That's it. We move too much to fire on them. Uh, two Apaches left. Definitely just killing off stragglers at this point. Nothing to really fight over. We might as well spread about all over the place and uh, attack as many targets as we can. The quality of the force we're attacking doesn't particularly matter. Ooh, big nice squad, it's all irrelevant. Their morale is broken. Mm, except for these squads. Yeah, there's two squads here that can still sort of hang on. One squad. Ah, uh, no squads. 
Well, there were in theory some squads here that we might have been able to do something. But even the larger, more intact infantry squads are pretty much rotted over to me. Yeah, he's dead. He's gonna have impulse between the Bradleys a little bit. I really hope this is not gonna be a uh, infantry heavy campaign. First and all, foremost, they're not gonna be able to resist this amount of force with just infantry. But these are also very time consuming. Although the helicopters do drastically change that, so maybe it's not that bad. Mm, I suppose we should drive these forward. It's sort of pointless, but there's very little harm in it too. And they have machine guns, so... Of course, through some miracle they actually get to the fighting still. They might be able to kill something in the tree. Still, even this sort of uh, shitty resistance took us half the entire mission to reach the reach the flags. It's a minor consideration though. As long as you win, you win. Okay, I don't think anything's gonna happen. Maybe an infantry squad shoots. No, not even that. So. Go forward, kill all the things, that's the plan. They did not noticeably get their shit back together. Each unit we kill is probably worth like three points at most. A couple of us uh, vehicle losses here would have meant we can't really win that decisively anymore. Mm -hmm. Rocky HQ and they're gone. There are a couple of pin squads. Well, they were. But I don't think they can offer real resistance here anymore. They're. They're too easily suppressed back to uselessness.
he's dead. You can pinball him until death. This must be the last, uh, largest infantry group they still have left. And it's in shit condition too. I don't think I'll bring in the helicopters anymore. Again, they're not going to give me any experience to translate the future missions. And point-wise, we can kill just as many key un enemy units by using the vehicles. I don't think it's any faster really either. I'm not sure why I bought the dragon teams. It's not that the teams are bad, it's just they're gonna work well if we have to defend something, but I think this is gonna be a massively just advanced or assault focused mission. So why in the hell did I get that? Yeah, I think this is Pretty much a wrap on this. I'm not noticing any Iraqi controlled flags. Ooh, we might well choose this. Oh, I did not pay attention to that at all. Just assume they're routed or retreating. That was literally the last Iraqi unit here. Not much of a mission. No, it wasn't. It was a machine gun in the fire. And it's dead. It's, they're trying to retake the flag now. Right, 901 versus 5. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty low. Like, a couple of uh, unit losses and it would have been pretty much impossible to get a decisive victory anymore. Four men lost. <sighs> Veterans. Uh, Dragon Team? Dragon Team ra ran along a road and it got a promotion. Yeah, this is just bullshit from time to time. I have no idea where those uh, promotions are coming from. He didn't shoot a goddamn thing, didn't certainly destroy a thing. Moved a little bit on the road. Instant promotion. It's all politics. Not maybe. We could change the headquarters in it. It's uh, pretty worthless to have as a four man infantry squad, and we'll still hold everything we have currently uh, in the shape they are. Avenger.
Mm. There's not much of a difference between Apache and the Cobra. I think the Hellfire missiles are probably better. That's pretty much it. And the main cannon is of higher caliber. More ammunition too. So I, there's not much of a point not to use the Apache. Right, that'll still leave us with 147 points and our very own scout helicopter. We could get another one immediately if we wanted to. And I'm not sure if that's a horrible idea. Not sure what type of unit I would want to exchange. The Paladins are fine, but do we need this many? Uh, it, it should not be a group leader though. But yeah, maybe another Apache would be the thing to go with. We we'll go with a third. Actually, I'm, I'm not, I don't think that's a bad idea. We know how useful these are, so we might not want to go with an army of Apache helicopters. But uh, about two to three is a good number to do the necessary scouting. It also gives you a little bit of room to damage and. Uh, not get destroyed, at least get driven away. So it's a, it's an okay thing. And the paladins are mainly used by me for smoke, so we don't need a half a dozen of them. We need one or two per column of troops we move with. Operation Desert Storm has begun. In front of the US-led coalition force is the vaunted Saddam Line. Latest intelligence reports that the Iraqis have a battalion of infantry and some tanks support in their fortified position. Your unit must smash through the Iraqi line and break into the interior quake. Hmm. Is this an assault mission? Ooh, this is a, literally an assault mission. I'm assuming they... we basically come from here. They have a massive defense force surrounded around this side. Maybe in other places too, but this is probably the worst of it. But infantry and some vehicles it, uh, sounds pretty weak, honestly. Mm, should I try aircraft? If they're in a defensive position, it might make more sense, and uh, aircraft that can come at them multiple times also makes quite a lot of sense. And the problem is you would still have to go in there and spot with something. And even the shittiest aircraft isn't cheap, so you it's hard to get sufficient number of them to make a difference. What is a fast cam apart from battery? It has no high explosive ammunition, only eight armor piercing. It probably has uh, specialty ammunition, uh, like some can fire, if not cluster munitions, like munitions that will be left in the ground as mines. So, a remote deployable minefield during the mission. It could also be anti-tank. I, I really don't know. These kind of things sort of demand an explanation. You either just know it or you have no idea what the hell it does. Can we even buy gunships? Yes, we can. Artillery might not be a whole wide idea, but at the same time... I don't know. I'm interested in trying the War Fox again. But realistically... If we can spot a unit, we can usually destroy a unit if it's a vehicle. So, are we gonna wait a turn until this aircraft happens to lumber along and give a shot at it? That might 
very likely fail when the we could just fire a missile at it and get rid of it. Uh, this might be more useful if we sent them initially. So they'll pre spot the enemy locations for us and we can start firing. We could use maybe something a little bit cheaper for that. This would be the cheapers, F 16s. They're pretty unremarkable bombs. Big, but big bombs, no doubt about that, but uh, the unit would basically be done at that point. We've got with uh, a lot of mm, larger number of smaller bombs. I think cluster bombs would make the most sense because we we don't have to accurately aim for shit. Also, that would give us a tens if we can direct, direct at other targets. Fifty six, fifty eight points for something else, maybe artillery. I mean, what else could we buy with that amount of money? Helicopter platoon, maybe? It's about that much. We could buy three. That will allow us to move the engineering squad where it needs to be. We could also just put them in the Bradleys. So no, we don't really need these. Artillery it is then. They have a heavy defense line. I suppose they could have aircraft. The reason I sort of think they don't have aircraft because that's the first thing that basically happened in a lot of the... I'm not sure I recall the Desert Storm exactly, but the Coalition has a massive advantage in troop power but especially air force so air superiority is pretty much established immediately uh, with Iraq usually trying to bury their planes in order to try to save them from uh, bombardment so they they really have no chance of fighting so I'm not sure we're gonna see a lot of uh, Iraqi aircraft doing bombardment missions in our troops What's the cheapest artillery we could possibly afford? Uh, we can't really afford a goddamn thing. We, maybe mortars, but that would be mostly for smoke. Right. With our upper howitzers. Could they achieve something useful? I don't think so, but at the same time, if we're going to use aircrafts, we can spot something, and the command unit is an Apache helicopter, or identifies as one at least. So, he can probably spot fairly accurately targets among the enemy troops. 